Could Mars be humanity's next home? How would living on this alien world shape our bodies and minds? Could we really evolve into a new species distinct from our Earth-bound origins? And might this cosmic leap in evolution change the way we relate to each other? But our adventure doesn't end there. Stick with us till the end to unravel a compelling and somewhat tragic love story. A tale of star-crossed lovers separated by the vast expanse of space and the intricacies of interplanetary biology. Join us as we delve into the science of evolution and explore what might happen to humans colonizing the Red Planet. Let's get started. The colonization of Mars is no ordinary journey like the ones our predecessors undertook. From the Magellan's voyages to Gagarin's space odyssey or Neil Armstrong's legendary lunar footprints, the Martian frontier offers the most formidable challenge yet. It's not just about learning how to endure an alien world with less oxygen, a weaker gravitational pull, and higher radiation. It's about enduring the challenges these extreme conditions could impose on the human body, reshaping us in ways that we are just beginning to understand. Our evolution so far has been a series of genetic mutations favorable to specific environmental conditions Although human evolution spans millions of years, adaptations can occur relatively quickly in extreme conditions. And Mars, it's safe to say, offers conditions more extreme than anything we've encountered on Earth. A prime example is gravity. Reduced gravity can trigger a host of physical changes. Gravity on Mars is only a fraction of what we experience on Earth. The reduction in gravitational force could trigger a whole list of physical altercations. Take for example, former NASA astronaut Scott Kelly, who lived for an entire year on the International Space Station. Zero gravity conditions weakened his bones and muscles and increased the space between his vertebrae, making him grow two inches taller. Although the zero gravity of space is more extreme than on Mars, similar changes could still occur there, albeit on smaller scales. However, when these changes are compounded over hundreds of years and multiple generations, the results could be quite profound. Humans on Mars would adapt in one of two ways. In the initial centuries, we could see our skeletal and muscular structure shrinking. Our Earth-bound counterparts might view us as weaker, with shorter lifespans and numerous health complications, including neurological disorders, if our skulls also shrink along with our bodies. However, over millennia, to ensure survival, we might evolve in the opposite direction. Like the Tharks, the formidable beings, from Edgar Rice Burroughs' sci-fi novel, A Princess of Mars, we could evolve to have stronger, more robust bodies. While the idea of having six arms and green skin is far-fetched, some scientists believe we could develop an orange hue courtesy of carotenoids. This pigment which gives carrots, sweet potatoes, and pumpkins their orange color could be our defense against the intense UV radiation on Mars. And it doesn't stop at the exterior changes. Our Martian descendants could mutate into a distinct human species due to the higher radiation levels, which would accelerate the mutation rate of our cell's DNA. Some scientists speculate this could happen within mere centuries, a significantly faster timeline compared to Earth's evolutionary history. This accelerated evolution does come with a caveat. Future Martians and Earthlings could be so genetically different that any romantic relationships between them might be tragic. Their differing immune systems could be as lethal as when different human groups met in the past, leading to devastating epidemics. Depending on their genetic diversions, they might not even be able to procreate. Our journey to Mars, therefore, might mark the end of Homo sapiens and the birth of new species. The next generations on Mars might not be humans as we know them. Mars is not just a planet with less gravity and more radiation. It also has significantly lower air pressure compared to Earth. This difference presents another set of challenges that could potentially shape the evolution of humans on Mars. The atmospheric pressure on Mars is less than 1% of Earth's. At such low pressures, water boils at a much lower temperature than it does on Earth. 
This low boiling point could make it challenging for our bodies, which are approximately 60% water, to maintain their internal equilibrium. Humans living on Mars might have to evolve a new way to manage their body's water balance. Over time, we might develop an advanced form of homeostasis, the mechanism our bodies use to maintain a stable internal environment. For example, we could evolve to have more concentrated body fluids to reduce the risk of them boiling off at Mars's lower pressure. Furthermore, breathing in Mars's thin air, which is primarily composed of carbon dioxide, would be an enormous challenge. To compensate, we might evolve more efficient lungs and circulatory systems. Our bodies could develop new ways to extract and transport oxygen more efficiently perhaps utilizing the sparse oxygen in the Martian atmosphere or synthesizing it from the carbon dioxide that's abundant there. Moreover, the low atmospheric pressure would also make it difficult to produce and retain heat. Over time, humans on Mars might evolve a more efficient metabolism to generate and conserve heat. We might see the emergence of physical adaptations like a more robust, subcutaneous fat layer for insulation or a more compact body shape to minimize heat loss. Let's now venture into another unique aspect of life on Mars, or rather, the lack thereof. Mars, as far as our current knowledge extends, is a world bereft of any bacterial life. This stark difference from Earth could have profound implications for the evolution of humans on the Red Planet. On Earth, bacteria play an indispensable role in our survival. They help in digestion, regulate our immune system, and even influence our mood and behavior. In fact, there are as many bacterial cells in our bodies as there are human cells. In the absence of these tiny allies, our bodies and health could be drastically affected. Consider our digestive system. Here on Earth, our guts are thriving ecosystems filled with countless bacteria that help us process food and absorb nutrients. Without this symbiotic relationship, we would struggle to survive, let alone thrive. On Mars, humans would have to adapt to a different method of nutrient absorption, perhaps becoming more reliant on artificially synthesized nutrients which could in turn alter our internal biochemistry and physiology over time. The absence of bacteria could also impact our immune systems. Here on Earth, our bodies constantly interact with a diverse array of bacteria, some harmful, most benign, or even beneficial. These interactions are essential for keeping our immune systems primed and ready to ward off infections. Without the constant microbial workout, our immune system could grow weak, or worse, start attacking our own cells due to a lack of foreign cells to combat. Over centuries and millennia, humans on Mars might evolve more robust internal defenses or perhaps develop an entirely new biological mechanism for dealing with infections and maintaining overall health. This environment might even select for genetic traits favoring individuals with naturally stronger immune responses or more efficient nutrient absorption. In essence, the absence of bacteria on Mars might give birth to a new breed of humans, a species fundamentally different from their Earth-bound counterparts. We hope you found this journey through the potential evolution of humans on Mars as fascinating as we did. Now, we'd love to hear your thoughts can you envision a future where humans adapt and evolve to survive on the Red Planet? Or do you have your own predictions for what the inhabitants of Mars might look like? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content about science and the universe. Thanks for watching.